went to Virgin Media Business to find out how certification to ISO 9001 has helped them. But first, who are Virgin Media Business and what is it they do? Virgin Media Business is a network and solutions provider of business products um, out there in the UK market. Um, internally, we have a um, number of values, but the, the main one is putting the customer at the heart of everything we do. Our vision as an organisation is to be the natural choice to fulfil the communications requirements of UK business um, across public sector, private sector and also service industries. We have six key values in the organisation. We talk about um, great value, great quality, being restless in our curiosity, making sure that we, we deliver um, services for our customers which are warm, honest and authentic. We don't, we don't want to do something which is not what the customer is after. We're an honest um, organisation, we, we talk about being straight up, that's one of our values, um, and we challenge the status quo, that's what, we, what we're here to do. So why did Virgin Media Business decide to implement a quality management system? The primary reason for getting it on board is to be able to demonstrate to the outside world that we've got a degree of control around our business. It, it makes good business sense because it allows us to be able to bid for business that we wouldn't ordinarily be allowed to bid for if we didn't have that certification. Well essentially we have framework agreements that we signed up to with these PSN customers and as part of those we have ISO certifications that we need to comply to um, as well as the PSN accreditation and also the 224 compliance. So QMS system is key to that to ensure that we have document version control, that we're reporting as we should, um, essentially meeting those contractual requirements. Running a company of our size, we've got a number of customers across a number of sectors, including uh, central, local government and public sector. Um, it's really important to those customers that we have and adhere to 9001 um, which is great, so we have those as part of winning business out there in the market. What are some of the benefits you've seen since achieving certification? It's about focusing on what the customer wants and, and I think that, that that's the main benefit that we get. We, we look at what the customer wants and how we're delivering against that. Uh, we put a system of controls and gates in there to make sure that we effectively double check ourselves uh, and obviously following a process that's, that's consistent and repeatable minimises your risk of error. One of the things that we did, we when we first started, we got a process for this and we got a process for that, process for something else, and we we had loads of them. And then we sat down and we had a good look at them and went, well, actually, these ten here, well, they actually cover the same kind of ground. They they if you take them up a level, and, and so we we actually reduced our our main processes down to a a very small number. Uh, which sit as an umbrella over, over everything else that we do. I think the, the organisation as a whole can see the benefit of understanding that there's a, a, there is a one way of doing something, um, having a repeatable process, having something that's flexible, having something that's robust, uh, and being able to get the um, statistics out of the other end, understanding the KPIs and our SLAs and making sure it works. How important is it to your customers that you have ISO 9001 certification? It's massively important. I think, firstly, it, it um, it's a window into how we operate uh, internally within within Virgin Media Business. I think that gives them trust. It also gives them confidence that that actually doing business with us is more like a partnership. I think, secondly, they hang off their processes off the back of ours. Um, often, when we do partner, uh, we're doing things uh, collaborating together as a as a partnership for a, for another end customer. And for those processes to work and and be transparent and and start to work in in uh, jointly together. Um, it, it, it benefits both, both sides. The customers want to see um, consistency, um, they want to be able to see that we deliver a, a quality service and get, provide them value for money um, and an un underlying quality management system that helps us to, to demonstrate those things. What's the importance of having a third party certify your systems? For our customers it's a big tick, you know, it's a, it, they have some confidence that we've had somebody independently assess us um, and give us the give us a, a mark of approval and, and they know they know the effort that goes into to, to get the certification but also to maintain the certification. I think it's like most things, if you review something that you yourself have written, you see what you expect to see. It's very easy to become insular in what we do and, and just be inward looking and, and be kind of masters of our own destiny and mark our own homework. Therefore it's good for someone who doesn't do the business that we do to come and have a look at those processes and, and see whether they can follow them and whether the measures that we think are applicable are relevant and the evidence that we put forward is acceptable. 
how do you find working with NQA in the auditing process? Working with NQA has been fantastic. The assessor that we have, he's really knowledgeable. Um, people are obviously really nervous when it gets to audit time, but he'll come in, make people feel at ease. I think he understands our business very well. Virgin Media's business uh, division I've been auditing for the last five or six years. It's fair to say that they've gone from strength to strength during that time. The organisation's changed a lot, both in terms of management structure, the products that they offer, and the markets that they compete in. But it's it, equally along the way, they, they've made sure there's been a focus on improvement there and the processes have been developed quite consistently. ISO 9001 is based on eight management principles. Uh, these are customer focus, leadership, involvement of people, process approach, systems approach to management, continual improvement, factual approach to decision making and mutually beneficial supplier relationships. Uh, what ISO 9000 does is to take those and break them down into a structure which Virgin Media then applies to its individual business units to make sure that requirements are delivered in line with what the customer wants. What advice would you give to other companies that are thinking about certification? It's about making people work in a certain way um, and having controls in place and being quite structured so um, I would say definitely go for it um, make sure that you're working with people not against them um, and make sure that the customers are at the focus of everything that you do. To understand what it is their organisation does and how they deliver to the customer um, once they've got that um, to see how they can improve it and deliver a sustainable and ongoing management system around their quality products and their quality delivery to their customer. Certainly I think that Virgin Media Business leads by example and is a great showcase of the whole QMS concept and how it's, achieved, how it's helped us to achieve our successes. Customers are expecting and, and deserve to have products and services that are consistent and reliable and, and having a system like this allows you to do that. My advice would be is just, just embrace it, be really open to it as a, as a method, a way of working. Um, it's, um, it, it can benefit both, both you financially, it benefits your customers. It's an absolute must for new business nowadays. You can't not go into this without the certification of ISO 9001. Um, it's a really important out there in the market. I actually think you will lose business nowadays by not having it.